Here's some notes on the internal capsule. This is a bilateral structure that's located in the inferomedial part of each cerebral hemisphere. It acts as an anatomic bypass route past the basal ganglia, and it allows for ascending and descending axons to interface with the cerebral cortex. The posterior limb of the internal capsule specifically has many important tracts. It has the corticospinal tract. It's the largest portion, and it carries motor signals. It has sensory fibers from the spinothalamic tract to the somatosensory cortex. It has acoustic fibers carrying from the lateral lemniscus to the temporal lobe, and it has optic radiation fibers from the lower visual centers to the visual cortex. It's very clinically significant. If you have an infarct in the posterior limb, you could have deficits in any of these tracts. The posterior limb is supplied by the lateral striate arteries from the middle cerebral artery, so it's vulnerable to damage from chronic hypertension, like in lacunar strokes. The internal capsule is also crucial for neurological monitoring during procedures. There are many different evoked potentials that are affected by internal capsule lesions, specifically in the posterior limb. This includes brain audit, brainstem auditory evoked potentials, motor evoked potentials, visual evoked potentials, and somatosensory evoked potentials. So in short, the internal capsule is crucial for transmitting neural signals between the cortex and various body sy systems, and it's a crucial structure in neurologic function.